Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 20th of 2023. Well, it is titled Galileo's Europa. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see an image of the moon Europa, one of the four large satellites of Jupiter. And this was imaged by the Galileo spacecraft, which orbited Jupiter uh, several decades ago now. Now Europa is unusual in that it has a very lightly cratered surface, hardly any craters on it, but it is completely icy. And what that ice is hiding is an ocean down below. So there is a great ocean of salty water down below this crust of ice. Now it's not a very thin crust. The crust is extremely thick, much thicker than our own oceans here on Earth or any of the ice here on Earth. However, that water is really very interesting because it leads us to think that there might be a chance that there could be some kind of life there. So Jupiter's tidal forces can serve to heat up the interior of Europa and leave that water as a liquid. Now, how would it get sunlight? Sunlight is not going to make it through here, so it would be a very dark area. However, we know that there is life that can survive under very extreme conditions, including in the deep parts of the ocean here on Earth. So could some kind of life have formed there? And that is for future missions to study. And in fact, missions have been considered to specifically study Europa as one of the best places to look look for life in our solar system. We've studied, of course, Earth very well. We look at Mars in great detail with the rovers looking for signs of life still have not been able to find anything. So Europa is one of those other regions that we may want to look at simply because it does it does have liquid water. We know that liquid water exists here. And we think from Earth that liquid water is a good requirement for life. Now, could life exist without liquid water? Well, it's certainly a possibility. It's just hard for us to be able to imagine because we are so focused on life that uses water here on Earth. But and that's why we tend to look at places like Europa and like Mars, which either had water in the past or currently have water at some some point uh, on those objects. So that gives us some of the best cases to be able to look for a chance to find any kind of simple life outside of our own planet Earth. So that was our picture of the day for May 20th of 2023. It was titled Galileo's Europa. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be almost alien. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.